Sick Free Saturday. How y'all doing out there? Check it out. We wanna um we wanna talk about something that's near and dear to both our hearts, which is health. Like a, a week ago, um my legs were swelling up. And I was like, man, let me go on, go on to the doctor and get myself checked out. Because I ain't like how I was feeling. I was feeling. I started walking funny and all. And um, and I went in there to get my legs checked out. And the doctor was like asking me all kind of questions. And then he was like, what kind of shape your kid is in? And I'm like, what you mean? What kind of shape my kid is in? And um, that's when I found out, like, if you got kidney issues, the fluid will go down to your legs. Mm -hmm. They're like weak veins, just a, it's a bunch of different factors that can um cause you know swelling in the legs. Thank God all my, my tests came back good, mm -hmm. right? Everything worked how it's supposed to work. So you know we looked at other things like stress or whatnot. But they end up keeping me for five and a half hours. Guess what? What? My blood pressure went up. And it was like, normally after you leave the hospital, your blood pressure go down. Okay. And um, that's when we had just had that, that blood pressure conversation. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dang, man, you know, we out here trying to figure out a way to feed the family and get all these dreams. And um, you accumulate any type of wealth and you would end up having to spend it on medical bills or taking care of your body later on if you don't take care of your body while you're going through the process. Mm -hmm. And man, that, that, that um, that forced me to do a significant change to my lifestyle. Like I count my cups of water every day now. Ha, yeah. um, I watch my steps and I and I check my blood pressure because I wanna I wanna be here, bro. And not only do I wanna be here, it's a certain standard of living, you know, that I wanna have while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. What you what you think about health and upkeep? Well, well, well. The the, the number one thing that that, that I have noticed or I have learned is we don't go get checked up. Take the story you just you just said, like, yeah, man, you, you, you felt something that made you go to the hospital. See, we should be getting our yearly physicals, our yearly blood 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 checks and all that to keep ahead of the curve, because it doesn't matter what, what it is, like, I mean, um, health club showed us that it's always better to find it early than to find it later. So it's good to go to the hospital and get checked on while you're in fully good health. You know, I mean, like, for instance, like, would you, uh, would you would you drive your car don't that don't never get the oil change? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna break down. Eventually your engine gonna lock up. You know what I mean? Like, That's right. I mean, because if you ain't got your health, you ain't got nothing. I don't care. I mean, you can be a billionaire for all that matter. You can own half the world, but if your health is declining, how you gonna even enjoy it? If you can't get out of the bed, how you gonna enjoy it? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, we definitely need to get ourselves checked up on the regular. Bro, that's how that's how a nurse broke down the importance of checking my blood pressure to a car motor. Oh yeah? Yes. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, because I could understand that terminology and him breaking it down like that made me understand um, how important it is to make sure all this stuff inside me, mm -hmm. you know, working optimally. Mm -hmm. Working optimally. So, you know what, I encourage you brothers, like, especially you brothers, because we tend to not want to go to the hospital and get checked out. We think we tough, we want to tough everything out. And we all right tomorrow attitude. Right, you know, you know, you're young. See, see, that's the problem, Mike. See, we we have to respect and understand our body, man. When you're young, you go into school. Remember how you used to twist your ankle and then swell that night. The next day, it's gone. You like playing basketball again. See, and 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 as we get older, our bodies don't heal like that no more. That's but right. but our mind still thinking that oh man, I just twisted my ankle. I'll be okay tomorrow because I had to learn. I, you know, I had to do jujitsu, so I had to learn the hard way. Like man, you know what, man? Like these neck injuries that used to heal in two days. It's taking them a month now, you know what I mean? So maybe I need to slow down a little bit or watch the way I roll. I mean, like, we have to, you know, ain't nothing wrong with getting old. Getting old is a beautiful thing, actually. That's right, that's you right. You know what I mean? So, you know, as we get older, respect your body, man, and, and listen to your body. Maintain it. Yes, yes. You only get one. Oh, believe that. If, like, if you, you, got the, you got the car, and you got to get the tune-up, you got to get the oil change, um, you got to check your transmission fluid. Mm -hmm. You got to rotate the tires. Mm -hmm. You got to wash it every now and then. Maintenance. Yeah. The same thing. Maintain your body. Maintenance to your body. You know what I mean? While it's, while it's riding good. You don't wait till your engine lock up before you go change the oil, do you? No, you change the oil before it lock up. So with that same mind frame, 
we need to start going to the doctor getting checked up, checked on before we started feeling pain, before we started feeling anything. I mean, believe me, every November I get my, my, my physical, full body physical, man. I, I, I don't learn. All right, that's what's up. Get your checkups. Today. <laughs>